Hello, my name is Donald and you're very welcome back to a special edition of Punkable Tips. Now, you know that I really enjoy reading all your comments and I do my best to respond to all of them. And in this one, we're going to answer a viewer question. Uh, so it feels like we've had one or two million requests uh, for being able to write four text boxes into one PDF file. So that's what we're going to do today. Uh, so let's get started. Now, to do this, what we're going to do is add in our four text boxes. So drag and drop uh, from the user interface into our uh, designer like this. And what we're going to uh, we're going to continue on from uh, the previous tutorial where we we're using Andres's uh, PDF generate PDF extension. So we'll take a look at the data in a second. Text box one, as far as I can remember, was uh, ID. And the second one then should be the country. Like this. Uh, the third one is uh, a field called rank. And the last one is a field called capital. Okay. Now, the way it was set up yesterday, like that. Uh, the way it was set up yesterday is that every time we clicked on this button, we were generating a PDF. So when I'm testing, obviously I don't want to be generating thousands and thousands of PDFs, and I'm going to use the label component instead. So I'm going to change my button here to view data, and we're going to use a label component to actually display the information in here. Okay, so let's take a closer look at the code that we had uh, yesterday. So we have a uh, table here, a JSON table made up of individual objects. So we can see we've got ID and country and rank and city, so the capital city. Uh, and then what we have is this generate PDF block. So this title here is the title of the document itself. Um, the columns then, these are the column headings. And um, if you can't remember this, I'd recommend go back and, and watch the video, uh, the previous video on generating the PDF. And then the table then that we put in is this JSON table here. So ideally what we want to be able to do is take these four pieces of information and um, add them into, add them onto the bottom of this table. Before we do that though, let's um, output our entire table. Let's just try and figure out what these tables look like and how they work. So let's put the contents of the table on the screen when we're clicking our button. So let's take a look here. Over in my live testing app now, if I click this view data button, you can see that each one of the objects that we have is separated by a comma, and we also have opening and closing square brackets around each of the um, kind of rows, let's say, or say the, yeah, the rows within our um, PDF. So all we've got is five different countries here, uh, five IDs, five countries, five rankings, and five capital city. So what we ideally want to do is be able to put in another one here underneath. So every time that we click uh, upload or view data, it should just get joined in here into this JSON. So we're going to make use of the built-in functions uh, here that will allow us to encode some of this JSON for us. Let's start by creating a list then that can store all of these um, countries in this case. So we'll create list of countries and we'll start by making an empty list. And what we'll do is that every time the button is clicked, we're gonna start adding items into this list of countries, like so. Uh, the countries then, rather than just putting in the plain text out of the text boxes, we're going to have to use this encode, uh, JSON encode block from the generate PDF extension like that. This actually takes a list for us. So here we go, we can make a list like this. Uh, click on the mutator there to add in two more items. And these items then will be each of our text box, text fields, I suppose. So text box one dot text. And then we're gonna just uh, copy and paste like this, text box two, text box three, and text box uh, four, like this. Uh, then what we can do is we can test it out. We can see how we're getting on here. So we can just output our list of countries. And this is when I'm figuring out how things work. Uh, I would generally go back and forth like this. So let's go view data again. And we've got nothing in our text box. So let's actually type something in. Okay, let's do, uh, give an idea of one. Country can be Ireland. The rank can be number one. And the capital is Dublin. So let's click view data. 
And what we're doing here is now we've got two items in our list. One is empty, and then the next one is Ireland. The problem, let's say, with this is that uh, we don't have any commas in between them, and we don't have the opening and closing square brackets that we'd like. So let's create a procedure that will tidy this up for us, that we begin with a square bracket, put commas then in between each one, and close with a square bracket. And once we have it in that format, in that JSON table, what we can do then is we can pass that back to um, the generate PDF procedure. So let's create our own procedure like this. Um, we're going to, here, go to procedures. We're gonna make a procedure and we're gonna call this one make JSON table. Make JSON table. You can call it whatever you like, but I think it's a good idea just to, um, uh, just to, give them kind of uh, useful names or intuitive names like this. So the first thing we'll do is put in that opening square bracket like this. Now what we're gonna do then is as this list gets longer and longer, what we're going to do is loop through or iterate through this list using the for each item in list block. And the list that we want to uh, go through is our list of countries like this. So for each country then that we have in our list, we want to, um, join the two of those together. So let's duplicate this. We're going to join together the data that are already in the um, list of countries like this, uh, data that are already in our uh, table, excuse me, um, there. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add on our specific country. And then the last thing we'll do then is uh, put a comma to separate out each country like that. Uh, okay, so that means we've got our opening bracket. These ones then will all have the opening and closing square brackets here. These items all have an opening and closing square bracket. And now we put a comma after that. The final thing we need to do is to close off these square brackets. So what we can do here is duplicate this and join together the uh, existing table that we've just built in our loop, like that. And we want to close it off, finish it off with a closing square bracket like that. Uh, so that's our make uh, JSON table function. And what we'll do then is uh, before we display it in the list, we'll call it here with this procedure. So add a new country to the list, um, refresh here and uh, display the whole thing in the label. So over in our live testing then, we can put in the first, the ID could be anything we want. Uh, we'll go for um, Ireland. And we'll give them a rank of one. And their capital is Dublin. Okay, so there's the first one. Uh, a nice thing to do would probably be clear out the uh, text boxes then when we're finished. So uh, we can do that then. It just uh, tidies up the UX a little bit. Uh, the next country can be ranked number two. And there we go. So we have the right things, but we don't have the commas in between. So it must be, oh, what we're doing is we're displaying the wrong table there. So what we're actually displaying is the list of countries. And what I want to do here is I want to display the table, because remember the table is what, what's going to get uh, turned into the PDF. So that should be okay. Uh, let's have a look here. Oh, we've added two Englands, but that's not too bad. Uh, so we've got opening and closing square brackets. We've got commas in between. That looks great. Uh, ID number three, perhaps. Let's just try it again. Could be Scotland. And their rank could be number three. And their capital will be Edinburgh like that. Excellent. Okay, so we can keep adding more and more things here into our JSON table. And the final thing we want to do is let's throw in another button and um, convert the whole thing then into a PDF. So back in our designer, we need one more button. Button two text then should be generate PDF. And what we'll do then is that when the generate PDF button is clicked, generate PDF down here, and, or when the, when the button is clicked, yeah, we're gonna generate the PDF. We're gonna have cities will be the title of the document. These will be our headings. This will be our table. 
and activity starter is activity starter one. Okay, great, let's give it a go. Um, so let's see if we have any data here. No, nothing at the moment. Uh, we've got to put in one more thing here, so do it all again. I might just fast forward through this video. Okay, so once you've added in the items from the four text boxes that you want, let's click the generate PDF button. Here's download cities.pdf, let's download it. I've had a few test runs of this already. And there we go. So the reason we've got a blank row at the top there is because I had a, a blank row of data. Uh, but maybe we could put in some error checking or error handling um, to make sure then that um, that we, do, we don't have uh, any accidental empty rows like that. Okay, so that's it for this video. Really hope you've enjoyed learning how to take tw four text boxes and uh, write the data into a PDF or save the data as a PDF. Thanks to everybody who leaves comments and thumbs up and requests, um, just to let you know that I do. I read all the comments and as I say, try my best to respond to them all. Keep on thinking and I will see you in the next video.